Hey guys, just thought I would do an update. My compost pile is dwindling down, but that's only because I've been removing and relocating my compost to compost cans. But you can see all the, maybe you can see all the little things flying around. All the little creepy crawlers and things that work. Over here where the cardboard was, some worms, potatoes. <laughs> I'm gonna just let them grow. I'm probably gonna give this compost here. I don't know, like I said, it's been raining off and on, off and on, off and on, which usually doesn't happen for Central California. I want to say it could be a cherry tomato, I'm not sure. I could be wrong. Could also be a potato too, but... Doesn't quite have that fuzziness. Alright, got the second bin. My wife and my son picked it up the other night for me. And I let my son actually drill out all of the holes this time. All along the sides. Just like what was in the last video. Like I said, we have various things in here. I should probably get that sticker out. That's what we're working with right here. Just some long clippings that I added on top a few days ago. Whew, a lot of things flying around here. So hopefully, hopefully it'll dry out. It's a little too wet in my opinion. We didn't drill holes on the top or anything, but probably from the sides they came. Um... I don't know, like I said, there's been a lot of worms. The ground's pretty, pretty soft right now. This is over by the back gate. I've been having to wear water boots the last two weeks, taking out the trash. Let me see if I can't find those. Ah, there we go. Yes. See, little worms everywhere. I've been finding some, not all of them, but I've been putting some in my compost. Kind of give me a helping hand there. I have the cinder blocks waiting to be used for the raised garden bed. I do have work that definitely needs to be done this week. Got to start weeding. I've been laying down things to kind of block the weeds for now until I can uh, do what I need to do cardboard I know it definitely looks trashy but cardboard is definitely a lifesaver but like I said I still need to there was already weeds here and I just had laid down cardboard it's not because I had cardboard and the weeds started to grow or anything like that I just did this to suppress what I can for now and like I said um, I don't know I don't think we're we might be getting rain in a, another day or two again so I'm just gonna have to do what I can in between the times and then this is where I want the other raised garden bed to be right next to this one but there will be like I want to say like a pathway over here and it'll be about the same size um, I'm not sure exactly, but I know tomatoes, tomatoes. Uh, I'm definitely going to be planting sunflowers and like two different kinds of sunflowers. Uh, different kinds of tomatoes. Um, my mint, my mint's growing pretty good. My prolific fig tree. It's probably blurry. starting to have new shoots I don't think that those and yeah, it's kind of blurry but 
right there that might be some brand new figs I don't know we'll have to do an update my wife's stargazer lilies are starting to come out they came out early last year before the other ones over here green onion still haven't utilized it I should I've been intermittent fasting the past two days so I'm a little limited on I guess I could have whatever I want but I'm limiting myself the mint it's almost reached the top I want to say next week or in a few days once it does, I will remove it and just let it continue to do what it needs to do. Maybe it'll spread or I'll take some shoots uh, and replant within here. I mean, like I said, using these as makeshift greenhouses. My wife's plan I'm trying to revive, so hopefully, I don't know, looks like it's doing a little bit better than what it was the other day. And I put a mango seed in here. We'll see what that does. I also want to do strawberry. Ah, yes. Steer manure. That's some good stuff for tomatoes. Not with tomatoes, but for the tomatoes. And the last thing I guess I want to say, guys, is we actually ordered a greenhouse. It's supposed to be a, I want to say, 10, 10 feet in length and 7 feet in height. Something like that. But, uh, yeah, it's not too bad. I'll have to do a video on that. I'm supposed to go pick it up next week. And this is probably going to be the most likely location. It'll be probably close to the same. Not quite the same. I don't know. Almost the same as what the barn is. But, uh, yeah. Big things, big things this year. Alright guys. Take care for now.